Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and I got the little edgy spooky lighting going on over here, uh, just because fucking, before I started recording, the light actually completely fucking died. So, I got this stuff over here, but I figured, hey, it's late at night, we got some ambient lighting going on over here, and as always, that was a long intro, long explanation, this is Deep Web Browsing, episode number 64, the series where we look at the danker side of the internet. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, it's going to be completely random, and I guess the added benefit here is the little spooky, edgy lighting. But <laughs> other than that, let's just sit back, relax. I'll keep this intro short and sweet, as always. Have a fun time. Let's go see what we find on this episode of the Deep Web Browsings. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I found something called Nobodyism, Divine Intelligentsia. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you know, sometimes I'll be honest with you, man. My favorite part of this is finding the websites that are just fucking random beyond belief. My hair will not fucking play along. But uh, <laughs> we have a site called Applied Metaphysics, okay? Welcome to NobodyTM.com, trademarked. Please view responsibly, all right? This, this, might, this might send some spookings down you, okay? So let's go look into it, all right? They got something called Feature Length. Nobody's Magnum Opus is an offering. A mutating amalgamation of previous iteration, nobody harvests a vast array of varying essences from subjects therein, souls that are hidden of the beautiful and the hideous, thus compiling an accurate context for a passing realm. The gathered material in, their, in rare sustenance and is not easily acquired or apprehended. What the fuck? Nobody has traversed profoundly elusive subcultures for years to organize this work. Think of nobody as a beckoning glove. Ushering you back to where you had been prior to having existed. Okay, no, but nobody. What the fuck, man? You, you know, it's just some spooky, sh spooky shit. Right, whoa, we got Ayla Mouse. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's a fucking, it's a fucking reptilian Illuminati Ayla Mouse. Holy shit, I should classify that. It's the aliens. They're in your dreams again. Oh my god, that's fucked. Especially because we play. LSD dream emulator, so similar. Would you wish them away if you could? See, I would never wish away an Ayla Mal. Like, to be honest, like, I would love to be fucking taken up into the heavens by the Ayla Mal's and, like, anally probed and shit. Like, okay, that may be a little too much information, but you gotta understand, man. Very few people in life get an Ayla Mal experience. I would love to be one of those people. You know, see some aliens and shit, you know what I mean? Considering the alien question, there is no question about it, man. Those aliens are spooky AF. Here we're in UFO zone. <laughs> this this literally screams fucking 90s. Let's go to the index. Oh, it takes us back. All right. Well, let's go to disc two. So it's basically a set of a set of videos, but I'm not gonna really click on the videos because uh, loading the videos over the relay is fucking slow as shit. And for the most part, it actually crashes my browser for some reason. Mostly because I have this VM unallocated. Like I didn't allocate shit in this VM properly. I just sort of make it. You know, I just sort of made it at that time. I could remake it again, but I'm kind of kind of balls deep in a fucking recording, so can't really do. But I can't really do that. But here we go. We got the nobody discography. So they got the alien touch, sleep well, ask your doctor, ask him about fucking what vigils and sigils, death rites, U.S. Fool's Guide. What? Yeah, he did. This is fucking weird, dude. That's. That's some freaky shit. There was some audio coming out of there. What the fuck? So shines a good D. Childhood nightmares. Modern rain dance. Sudden news from heaven. What the fuck? To fui ego eris. Alone at last. A seraphim dialect. Ritual hypnosis. Moth contract. Dormant memory. Ghost of paradise. Mixtapes. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit, dude. That fucking. That guy's fucking car just skid out like crazy. Just as soon as I said mixtapes, man, that's the dopest shit ever. What the fuck? What, what the fuck is this? This is not a sound cloud. This is a spook cloud, dude. What? What the fuck am I looking at? Slave genocide special? Gin and... What? What the fuck? You guys reading these fucking titles right now? This is fucked up, dude. This is fucked up. I have to censor that shit, dude. There's a dead guy. What in the fuck am I looking at? I'm backing the fuck out, dude. What, where am I even right now? How do you even do this? What is the about section? I'm curious. 
How do you usually come up with what you want to convey? I've always been so fascinated how two unlike things, one that may or may not be known, and it comes perfectly. Do you sit and watch videos for an hour or two until you have a brain blast and say, oh, fucking brain blasts. Yeah, this would go with that. Old cartoons such as Mighty Mouse... Mighty Mickey Mouse. The one with the dog that shows you as your thumbnail of episodes before they play. I'm assuming from your childhood. What in the fuck is this, dude? This is honestly one of the weirdest sites that I... I always say that, but that's because, like, my expectations just get completely fucking taken over. Like, you come across sites like this and it's just... What the fuck, man? Honestly, I'm... Fuck, where am I at right now in my fucking... <laughs> you must have an interested, interesting development considering these old cartoons of black and white are more well-known to your childhood than a lot of people I know. Sure, we all know Betty Boop and the like, but you seem to be more knowing of its unmaterialistic worth. That, and in the NSA chat logs you mentioned, Rorschach testing. What? Interesting, sure. Grandfather used to sit me down to watch them, even the early Disney stuff. Why the fuck is it every time that I'm on, like, the deep web and shit or, like, the dirt danker side of the internet? Like, Disney, when it comes... Anything when it comes to animation, Disney's always the one that's fucking involved in it. That's a little... Come on, guys. Okay? The bridge around a minute. That would make sense to watch them over with your grandfather. Just going off the basis, if you were born late 80s, early 90s, it just seemed odd for me because my older brother was born around the time and he has a, he was a big TV addict when he was young, when I could comprehend TV. And I never, ever saw any black and white cartoons like Bimbo or the old Mickey Mouse cartoons. At most, the oldest cartoon I would know of from my childhood is Tom and Jerry. It's funny because the ideas in this particular cartoon is rather horrifying. Skulls, death traps, dismemberment. Yeah, that's when cartoons fucking had balls, you know what I mean? Like, we didn't have this fucking censorship shit going on back then. Back then it was full of sexual innuendo and, f in all honesty, fucked up shit, dude. Like, you watch some Tom and Jerry episodes, it's it can get pretty fucking hectic, dude. Nobody TV, oh, they got episodes and shit? What the fuck? You're free to distribute and claim authorship of the contents therein. What the fuck? They got a full TV. They got, they got, they got TV. Oh my god, dude. I'm not fucking continuing that. He's gonna like sit on it and it's gonna fucking completely wreck his anus. Fuck that shit, dude. We're, we're backing the fuck out of it. If you go to the exhibition, they got more aliens. They got, what the fuck? Okay, this stuff is kind of fucking freaky right now. I'm, I'm not... What is a chat womb? Everyone's connected? This little chat area. Okay, alright. I think that's enough of nobody TM. This actually kind of has me a little spooked out, to be honest. Like, you go down over here, it's like, nobody three is to accept, to accept and expect, pray and obey, be one. God's ideal is found beyond the mandated comprehension. Interrogate yourself, sifting indiscriminately through psyche. Find stillness, yet foster one's perception as nomadic. Alien nuance, leave the human affairs of polarizing essence. It's like, you know what it is? Like, you know when we used to look at the cult websites and shit? Kind of reminds me of that, in all honesty. Like, it feels like I'm in some weird, like, cult website and shit. A cult that seeks <coughs> the nothing. Honestly, man, like... I'm going to come back to the site, but I think I've browsed enough of it for now. I think we've gotten like 10 minutes or something to footage just for the site. So I'm going to back out of it and go to a different website. But that was nobody trademarked. So check it out, man. I mean, it's it's definitely something, okay? <laughs> Become, be the nobody. All right. Well, that's I guess that's the uh, slogan for this episode. Let's back out to go and go see something else, all right? Let's Let's become somebody. All right, this is Sirens Rocks. All right, this is uh, this is uh, you know, it's kind of great because uh, we we saw some mixtapes on the internet today. You know what I mean? And this is more like this is more of those mixtapes. You know what I mean? But here we got Sirens Rocks. It's a it's a site dedicated to I guess music and shit, but like really weird different types of music. You look at the recently accessed artists. You got all the way from Amir Khan, Amir Khan, to Soapbox Paradox, Teen Dresh, uh, fucking Toya. I've never heard of these people, by the way. So I don't. I don't really know. I, I, I'm just. I'm just looking at all these different artists they got over here. They got David Forrest Small. They got the Gungor. Okay, Matthew Barber. Oh, they got T Pain. What the fuck? Is this what is this site? 
Okay, these are all, some of these are new artists. Okay, what is this? We protrude, we protrude from these waters. No amount of float sand will deter the determined. As minerals, we have no opinion on them. What the fuck are you? Are, am I, am I witnessing a role play of rocks? Okay. Waves crash upon us, barnacles take root, and the watery tarts keep singing. Perhaps in millions of years we may erode away into sands to be scattered across the sea. It makes no difference. We exist beyond human conceptions of continuity. It is also possible we at some future point will be reformed again into a solid mass. We are indifferent on the... Man, this episode of The Deep Web has really gotten, like, fucking heavy, you know what I mean? Again, we are indifferent on the subject. Let the seas continue to roar. We remain stoic there is nothing for us to vocalize we only gently rumble when in congress with our equals whether you crash your ships or attempt to climb our peaks the misplaced hubris of man and his accompanying false projections of conquest do not concern us you can prove it yourself or even others but not to minerals our lack of benevolence is only incidental not intentional we have no opinions desires or sympathies we transcend intention. We will only be moved reluctantly by a geological disturbance. You can attempt to build a lighthouse, but we will not be bothered. Curse us. But minerals are an inescapable part of your S existence. While our particular arrangement, I don't think that's spelled right, may be troublesome for some, it suits us perfectly. What could be more natural? Standing with two feet planted to the ground, you will not complain. Or petition for solid footing. So why bother yourselves with rocks in the sea? These guys are really fucking role-playing rocks right now, dude. It's not even a fucking joke at this point. Holy shit. Our downloads are hypnotic, enticing, and unobtainable. You cannot download. You must sign up. Please see our terms and conditions for more information. Do not contact us. We are... Oh, they're really fucking role-playing that shit, dude. We are minerals. You will be ignored. <laughs> We cannot help you reach the sirens. The site only pertains to their rocky perch. Oh, my fucking... You know... Jesus fucking Christ. Copy wronged? Sirens rocks 2015. What am I fucking reading, dude? Like, honestly. What am I fucking reading at this point? What is my life? Why? Like, you go to their terms of conditions and shit? Yeah, it's just, it's just a general terms and conditions, man. Like... There's nothing more to it, but what the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> it's like, I guess it's a music sharing website of minerals just sharing music. Like, what is this? You can go over here, create an account and shit. Um, mm, <laughs> Pokemon can fuck yourself. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, um, can I, can I do this? Uh... Oh, oh, complete an offer to activate your account. It's fucking one of those sites, man. It's one of those sites where you delve deeper and you end up like fucking joining up some weird pyramid scheme in Russia and shit. Get a Coca-Cola gift card. Receive it. Oh, yeah. Let me see your fucking shit. Receive a 250. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not going to go down this fucking rabbit hole. OK, it's fuck. It's a fucking rabbit hole, dude. It's a fucking rabbit hole. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was all a fucking sirens rocks. Nothing. Nothing else entirely. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there was much to this. I think the site's just there to uh, to look edgy and shit. I mean, it does look very edgy, and it's run by what appears to be fucking rocks and minerals, so... Yeah, who knew they were, they were fucking sentient beings all along? They managed to get a fucking webpage running up. Created last year, by the way. But you can't contact them, because, again, they're, they're fucking rocks. You, if you try talking to a rock, people are going to look at you funny. Um, but their downloads are hypnotic, enticing, unobtainable. I, however, cannot download them because fuck it. It doesn't even seem like you can just log in. Like, I, I just feel like this is a fucking joke site. Honestly, this, this has to be a fucking joke site, dude. This is a fucking joke site. That's what it is. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to, we're going to back out of Sirens Rocks. We're going to, we're going to fucking see something else. You know, we're, we're, we're going to go to something where I, a human fucking made it, you know what I mean? So let's 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 back out of here and see something else. How about that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we found a uh, website called Cerberus. Now, I don't often show you all a lot of these sites. I mean, I do show you hacker sites and I show you a lot of these sites, but the only reason I show them to you is because at times, if they're really easy to find, I always show them. Like if I find like a pedo site, you know, like a site that links to a lot of pedophilia or hacking sites or illegal services, I don't like showing it to you because, oh, wow, we found something scary on the deep web. It's because... 
it was actually really easy to find. Now, I have my ways of finding a lot of links, you know, obviously doing this for so many fucking weeks, you end up creating so many other avenues for you to find sites, you're not using the standard hidden wiki anymore, um, but this is when I do have to show you these sites, because these sites take me, like, if I come across these in, like, maybe the first seven, eight minutes of finding websites, I have to show them, because they're so easy to find. Like, if you if you started going on the deep web right now, and you started looking for, you would find this shit instantly. I guarantee fucking tea it, okay? If you use just a general, like, spider, like the Harry 71 onion spider, or shit, even like a general, like, uh, link list that, uh, that recently indexes, you will find shit like this. This is the Cerberus Malware Repository. Now, this is, their project is to build the largest malware library ever. If you don't know what malware is, it's basically virus code. It's, if you're looking on the side of here, if you look in the folders, they have things that are the dossers, botnets, key loggers. We just opened up the botnets. You looked at the essentially, uh, if the site will load, it's a little slow, but, uh, it's kind of, kind of, uh, understandable because if it's easy to access, then chances are more people are just constantly barraging the site with requests. Now, if you look at it, they got banking botnets, DDoS botnets, remote botnets, and logger botnets, both, both all used for different purposes, right? Logging is just used to log passwords or a key log and whatnot. DDoSing is, you know, to create slaves that you can eventually use to fire off at one target millions of fucking requests if you wanted to. So essentially, you can get botnets, you can get a lot of stuff. Basically, this is Script Kitty's paradise, you know, they, they get access to a lot of these exploits. Now, how useful are the exploits? That's a little questionable. Some of the exploits are relatively older. Some of them are relatively new. Of course, their effectiveness varies on how recent they are, how well known they are, how well patched they are, and just how well the person using them are. So there's multiple things that go into it. Uh, they've got, and of course, some of these aren't difficult to create yourself. Like you can, you can create like a dosser. You can pretty much make yourself really exploit packs, key loggers, loggers, miners, which is actually very interesting. Um, I know, uh, somebody's, uh, close friends whose computer was always really, really slow. It turned out he actually had a miner installed on his computer, like a little malicious miner that if they walked away for their computer, you know, for about 10 something minutes, their CPU usage would spike like fucking crazy alongside their GPU usage too. And what would be happening is somebody infected his computer with a miner so that when he stepped away, his computer would be mining for Bitcoins for somebody else. So let's say they had like a thousand computers mining, they'd be, they, they'd have a thousand computers that are mining Bitcoins for them. And ultimately all that does is make money for the actual person creating the virus and it ruins your computer's, you know, life. Because obviously if you're, if you keep having an 80% CPU usage, mining Bitcoins, you're eventually destroying your computer, which is why I tell people not to mine Bitcoins using their desktop because they're actually losing money rather than earning it. Just because the <clears throat> tools you need to mine Bitcoins to solve those giant equations, those mathematical conundrums. You need like ASIC miners, you need like dedicated tools for mining that are designed, their CPUs, hell, their GPU usage is the OS that they run on is specifically used just to distribute for mining. So, you know, that's, uh, that's just the whole, uh, that's just the whole shebang right there, you know, shebang. But essentially, that is uh, that is what these viruses do. And there's many other viruses on the site, uh, Defense Wall, Form Grabbers, to rat, fucking hell, worm stealers. Uh, they got a bunch of, they got, a, oh, they even got an old school malware list too. Oh my God, dude. Virus maker one dot rar. Jesus Christ. But basically, uh, what you're looking over here is a repository and an ever growing repository, by the way, too. This is a very healthy onion site and slowly but surely in the upcoming months and whatnot too, you're going to notice that the site has more and more, um, malware that pops up now again this is illegal don't download these and use them against other people it's fine to learn about it but by using these on other computers in a malicious intent you are committing a crime so don't fucking do any criminal activities okay that's not condonable by us here at some ordinary gamers hell no but this is a site that's recently popped recently indexed and it's getting more popular by the day and i wouldn't doubt by next week when i check this again it's going to have more tools popping up so again, uh, the, these are sites, and I show this to you again because it's so easy to get to it, okay? I'm not saying all the deep web is horrible and scary and bad, but uh, sometimes you're going to come across the risque, bad, uh, morally objectable things, 
rather quickly, and sometimes I do like to show that to you because it's just so easily accessible. Again, if I couldn't find this easily, I wouldn't show it to you at the end of the day. There's tons of pedo sites on the internet. Uh, most of them, thank God, you actually need to have a, you actually need to be actively looking for it to go to, and there's no point showing that because if you're actively looking for kitty porn on the internet, fuck. I mean, that's, that's fucking wrong. But, you know, when it's so readily available, when it's, when it's right there smack dab in your face, and like half these sites that are malicious to the hitman, the, the fucking kitty porn, the, the hacking sites, most of them are honeypots too, but sometimes, I mean, this one you can just download, I wouldn't download anything off this too. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's easy to find. But, uh, essentially, that's about it. That's all I can really say on it. But I'm going to back out of this. But I just want to show you guys. This is a hacker repository. So, Script Kitty Heaven. Of course, the usability of some of these hacks are a little little interesting. But uh, these people seem to be white hat hackers. The French Freedom Zone. So, you know, good, good luck to you all. Good, good luck. But uh, we're going to back out and go to, uh, go to something else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our first dank web video for, well, and here, ladies and gentlemen, is our dank web video of the week. Of course, as you can tell by the screenshot here, we're into some really grisly looking shit. Uh, fuck, I really don't know what to say about this other than why, okay? All right, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to, we're going to hit play and see what all this is about. So, uh, let, let's, let's see what the, uh, let's see what this is about, okay? We got fucking, holy shit, wait, let me pause it real quick. This is actually, we watched this fucking video before. I swear to God, we have seen this fucking video before. Holy shit, we've actually seen this exact fucking video. We've, not this video, but I think it was two episodes ago. We saw the dude stabbing the fuck, I think this is literally that same one. It looks exactly the same way. That's actually the same fucking thing that he was stabbing. What the fuck? Hold on. Yeah, sorry for that. I needed to disable something. I think I was still previewing the audio for this shit. That was really weird. Let's go and do it. So, th what's weird about this is that I don't know what- Oh my god, that's actually breathing. You can see that shit. It's going up and down. What's really weird is it's so bony looking, too. What the fuck, man? It's so goddamn loud. Should probably turn down the audio on mine, but like, fuck. It's as low- What the fuck? That was something flashing up to my screen. What in the fuck? So he leaves the bed. Alright, he left the bed. Okay, that's understandable. I, I don't know fucking why. What the fuck is this? Dude, holy shit. You know what that looks like? You guys ever seen that, like, movie? It was, like, a YouTube movie. Not not on YouTube, but, like, there's a lot of YouTubers in it. I think Tobuscus was in it, and there was another dude in it. I don't fucking remember his name. But the movie was called Smiley. You know what I mean? Basically, what it was about was, like, this dude who wore the smiley mask and shit, like, there's a grotesque-looking fucking mask, and, like, you would be on this chat website, like, Omegle and shit, and you would say, I did it for the lulz, like, three times or some shit, and he would show up and, like, kill you. That's actually a mask that's so fucking reminiscent of that, it's freaky. But you've got this thing laying over here, it's got, like, a bow or some shit, and he's, like, feeding something into it. It doesn't seem like there's anything in the bowl, too. But again, it's so low quality, you can't actually tell. So he's just feeding this one thing. What the fuck is he doing? Like, what are you, what are you fucking doing here? Like, as you can see, it's almost like it's the same shit. This music is really fucking triggering in the ears, by the way. We're almost, like, done. So it's like, we got, like, 15-something seconds of the video. I really feel like we're gonna get a fucking screamer, dude. So he's just like feeding it. No, it's actually something. That was another message. Okay. And that's it. Okay, thank fucking god there's no screamer. It's like, I don't know why we've never gotten like screamers on the fucking deep web videos, like ever. And if I d do think we did, I don't recall it. But like, I'm always scared shitless. Like, I hate fucking screamers, especially when it's like dark as fuck in the room. I hate fucking screamers beyond belief. You have no idea. Like, I'm so glad I didn't come across one. But. I don't know what the fuck to make of this video. It seems like there's some weird shit going on. But what I'm going to do is let me let me mute this. Somebody's playing Rainbow Six Siege. Congratulations. 
can, 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 can the notification, okay, let me just mute this for a second because it's abnormally loud. But there were two messages sent over here, okay? So I'm going to find these real quick. I don't know what the thing about it is, okay? But, or, okay, here we go. All happened when little loud to Parson, she unto she dead when, okay, so she was dead, Parson little loud, what the fuck? It seems like I'm into some really, like, meta deep story and shit that I think there's more than, like, I don't know, like, if this was one video, because it felt like, I don't know what the fuck was the story over here, okay? But it definitely feels like the last time we saw this dude getting stabbed and, like, stabbing like crazy, there's way more to this story than what meets the eye. But you go on further, he's, like, like at first he's, like, sleeping alongside it. I don't know what the fuck that is, dude. Like, that, that's so weird. Like, it just seems like fucking tape, like, something. What the fuck? And then he's, like, feeding this thing. All right, with something. I don't know if it's even something because it's so low resolution. You can't even fucking tell. But then we go we go further into it and there's going to be a message that fucking pops up. And it's only like one frame. So you have to like perfectly time that shit. Like right fucking here, I think. If I can, where do I go? One frame forward. Oh my God. Yeah, there was, a, there was something. There was something. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, here we go. Lady, it pray a so stopped the down nose then am so. So it's like, I don't understand the whole like referencing going on over here. Like it's it's like clearly this man has taken care, but also hurting. It's like whatever the fuck this is. This is like some slave shit going on. And I don't I don't fucking understand it. <laughs> Obviously, that's not a real corpse there, like or something. Like I know what some people might have been thinking. Oh my god, is that a fucking dead person? No, it's not a dead dead person. Okay. Um, Trust me on that. It's it's not. It's obviously faked. But the thing is, it's like, even if it's fake, it's so fucked up what's going on. Like, what is actually being filmed? I don't fucking know. It's almost like the artistic Abu Ghraib representation we had a long time ago with that site. Like the, like the Chris site. You know, the Kill Chris shit. It, it's almost like fucking that, dude. But, like, it's so weird. Like, what am I supposed to be witnessing over here? You know what I mean? Like, this is incredibly fucking spooky to an extent like even if it's faked it's like spooky fake you know what i mean like what, what, are, what are we watching you know like we're watching this thing lay next to this doll that's i guess made to look like a corpse and shit and then like you go for you got these messages which i can't decipher them then he's feeding this thing and he's got this really grotesque looking mask and shit <coughs> It's making me, like, dry heaves just because, like, when I see quality like this, it just, it makes me feel uncomfortable, you know what I mean? So it's just truly an uncomfortable feeling. Like, even if it is fake, it's just, it's really unnerving fake. I'm going to end this over here, by the way, too. This is, like, this is just fucking weird. But yeah, I guess that was something. I can't decipher what it is, but if anybody can help us in the comment section below, let us fucking know. Okay, because it feels like I've walked into yet another arc, and I want to figure out the answer to this arc. So if anybody's got the answers, let us know. Let's try to figure this shit out. Okay, team? But that being said, I'm going to back out of this, and whew, just just not going to go delve deeper right now. Maybe later, but for now, I'm going to, I'm going to dial back the deep delving. <laughs> Fuck. Introduction and mission statement. The site is dedicated to truth seekers. Its main purpose is to lead seekers onto a much more brighter source of information and to help shed some light to a great deal of things happening in this very mad world. Ephesians 6.12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The New World Order... Oh, fuck. Fuck my life. Uh, EU, Israel, Zionism, secret societies, Illuminati, brainwashing, television drugs, feminism, control the USA, fake terror, 911, Pearl Harbor. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, we have every fucking conspiracy you could ever imagine, okay? You could, there's so many conspiracies here, you could, your mind will be fucking blown. You have UFOs and nukes, the secret link revealed. UFOs firing fucking nukes, dude. 
All right, Oregon Trail of Tears, if I were the devil. In these end times, as was predicted in the Bible, Satan is d destroying the planet and is unrolling World War III. We are at a time now that is so close to the end, the fire of God's judgment, woo, that nothing matters except for people to kindle their relationship with God. At a time when it is becoming illegal to believe in God without being labeled as an extremist or worse, I don't, look, man, I... I don't think believing in God instantly makes you an extremist or terrorist in today's world. And that's, that's just, that's just fucked up. Okay. And I know a lot of people who believe in God. I wouldn't say they're extremists or terrorists. How dare you cite? Okay. Just say that. Like, come on. All right. I don't, I don't think it's gotten that bad. If you don't go along with their satanic new world order, as announced by George Bush senior, the Bush bloodline is subservient to, I fucking love these lines. Like they just, they just know the Bush line. No, they're fucking Satan worshippers, okay? No, I mean, those motherfuckers out in Texas, they worship the devil, all right? That's what they are, okay? The rotten fruit doesn't fall far from the tree of the knowledge of evil that God forbid Adam and Adam and Adam, Adam and Eve to eat from. I think this is when you have a younger picture of the fucking Queen of England. I don't, I don't fucking know her talking about the bush lineage and then fucking the Queen just shows. We gotta pick one thing, okay? We gotta pick one motherfucking bloodline, okay? Is it Queen Elizabeth or is it the Bushes, okay? Who's, who's fucking worshipping the devil? You know what I mean? Alright? Come on. Come on now. Okay? And, and who cares if they're worshipping the devil, okay? So some people can, alright? It's a fucking free country, dude. Right? Just let them do it. You know what I mean? Israel, oh my god, is that David fucking Duke, dude? Okay, alright, that's, that's something. 60 minutes, shut up, conspiracy theory. I think I have a site just for how Reddit was destroyed. Oh, sh 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 we There's a lot of things that go into why Reddit was destroyed. Alright, so apparently it's a site that's uh, Battle for Eurasia. Oh my god. So basically, as you can tell, the site is very... <laughs> It's a it's a pretty uh, intense conspiracy headed site. I think there's a little bit of a uh, what do I even fucking say about this? Okay, like like it speaks for itself essentially. Or I don't have to fucking say anything. It just says it for itself. You know what I mean? So if you look about over here on the right side, they got a bunch of categories. Skull and Bone Society. That's actually a real thing. To be honest, yeah, it is. The JFK, uh, China. You know, I'm gonna hit fucking MK Ultra. Maybe I'll do like. Fuck, what do I do? Brainwashing. There you go. The fucking Vatican. How about we add that? But uh, I think the site might have a clear web link. I'm on the deep web link for it, too. The plan against the NWO. Oh, my fucking God. Let me just... What? 404 error not found? What the fuck? It got taken down? No. No, the site's taken down. What the fuck? What? Intro? Oh, my God. Holy shit, this site was alive when I found it and it died this quickly? Oh my god, dude! What the fuck? Hold on, give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna try finding it again. Okay, so I'm back on the site again. I went through seeking it and I managed to get the relevant the, the recently updated site. They got a little math equation on the side. Oh wait, that's just a capture to sign in. But I'm gonna try connecting to like the Illuminati again and seeing all these other links. Because yeah, it's just giving me error 404s, dude. Dude, the site is like dead. This site is dead. What the fuck? It's a dead site. Holy shit. Maybe they don't have it programmed properly right now. Like you click on any link. The only thing that's actually accessible right now is the main page of it. I think maybe they have the uh, linking to the other like HTML. Like I think maybe the linking is wrong or maybe it's just a broken fucking site because I actually can't load in anything else. But what it links to, if you guys are noticing, are essentially YouTube videos you can watch. Like, if you go Googling right now, I, if I were the devil, you can watch the YouTube sites that it links to. And a lot of sites that it links to are, are YouTube-based. Now, it has other sites over here. The Way Home or FaceTheFire.net. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's actually leading me directly to another... Like, okay. All right. This is definitely something. you can. Act it's actually a link to downloading an entire book. Okay, people are saying this is the most important book on the planet. Is it you decide? I don't I don't fucking know if it's the most important. I'm not I'm not going to read it honestly. The Great Shampoo Scandal. Well, I mean, yeah, the site's not linked properly. You actually can't open any other link. Like they update the links if you look at the dates that they were updated, but like you actually can't access anything. And to be honest, I'm a little wrong there because a lot of these links are like 2015. Like if I if I do a control F real quick and type in 2016, 
yeah, they got a 2016 page over here. That's that's a 4th of July. So if I go to the comments real quick. Yeah, yeah, no, the site's like, the site's actually broken. They don't have any links going on. So I don't think there's much more I can really say about this site because honestly, it seems very interesting, to be honest. Like, I, I, I do definitely want to go to the site, which is why I think, if I'm not mistaken... Can I open up a new page and type in dot com? Like, can I do this real quick? Will I be taken to the clear web version of the site? Oh my god, I might actually be. Wait the fuck up. It's giving me the Cloudflare shit, which I always I always hated Cloudflare beyond like beyond I hate this fucking thing. Like if it asked me to fuck Oh my god, it's doing it. Pick the one with the street signs. Okay, there you go. Street signs. That's fuck. There you go. Is that is that it? Alright, I'm in. I mean, I hate the picture ones. Like, it's fuck. Like, you'll never fucking get me with those. Wait a minute. Plan against WNWO. Oh my god, their deep website is fucking dead, but their clear website works just fine. Hello and welcome to the newest and most unique freedom concept on the internet. Your decision to print out and read this booklet will be a wise one. This is the information that the men of the New World Order are absolutely terrified you will discover. If the New World Order catches you watching this, you're fucked. They're fucked because this is information against them. Study this material very carefully. In less than 180 days, you could help defeat the New World Order using the only plan that is guaranteed to work. Gu Anytime you ever hear guaranteed to work, it's a fucking scam. It's guaranteed. You're not. What you were about to learn with God on your side, helping you every step of the way, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve in such a short time. You'll be amazed. Your, your fucking dick will fly off. Let me give you an example of why it's important to get all the facts before making a decision. If I promised you $5 million to jump out of an airplane without a parachute, would you do it? No, I, actually, I wouldn't. Uh, you would lost an easy $5 million. You see, the plane I was at, the plane I jumped was parked on the ground. Uh, okay, all right, well, you should have fucking mentioned that earlier, okay? You didn't give me the fucking stipulations, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to risk, like, what if you had said, oh, but the plane's flying in the air? No, motherfucker, I would be dead. I don't want five million, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll earn the five fucking million. Don't, don't worry about that, bro, but fuck, I don't want to jump out of a plane. Even if a plane's parked like that, if it's a high plane, I'm not going to fucking break my legs. Don't lose a great opportunity by jumping <laughs> fucking. to conclusions about the concepts you're about to read. Interesting. This is kind of, kind of weird. You know what I mean? Conditions for success. Before we proceed, I want you to put aside any preconceived ideas you may have about how to defeat the New World Order. Okay? Any fucking plan you had, throw it out. It's not even close to this. Okay? Forget about all the advice. You need to concentrate on every single word you're about to read. All right. This, this is a lot of fucking shit to read. A lot of it has to do with divine timing and God-guided visions. All right? It's, whew, I'll be honest with you, man. It's fucking... So a lot, a lot, a lot of holiness being brought over here. Okay, like holy fucking shit, dude. Reading all this, my fucking god. I love how Plan responded. I like the plan. For all of us that like this plan, who among us will stand up and declare that it would not be so hidden here on the internet? Well, I don't. I mean, I, fuck, man. What what am I reading right now, dude? Here, let's go to MK Ultra uh, Illuminati. Let's see what this is now. Now that we got a clear web accessible link, uh, let me look around over here. Oh, this is all like search results, different. Project Bluebeam died of heart attacks. This is from an international free press in Canada. Mm, represent. Uh, abolish all Christian traditional religions in order to replace them with a one world religion being on the cult of man. We're talking about Blue Book, not the cult of man. Come the fuck on now. What is this? Project Bluebeam. Uh, New Age Religion with the Antichrist as its head. Oh my god, dude. This is all, like, religious-based, super religious-based, dude. I almost feel like we found, like, this fucking cult and shit, too. It's Alex Jones Endgame. Whew! Is that a, is that a picture? Of, yeah, that's a picture of the fucking UN building. No, that's not the UN building. No, what am I, fucking stupid? Hell no. That's, uh, that's... Blueprint for Global Insla... Oh my fuck. Like you're just reading this shit right now, dude, and it's like, like I'm not, I'm not gonna be one of those people. Like oh, conspiracies don't exist because they, they most likely do. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna say the Illuminati doesn't exist. I'm sure there's people at the top who are making decisions. Obviously, you know, the world would be fucked without any fucking leadership. But man, holy hell, who sold their devils? Saddam Hussein, Tony Blair, Benjamin Netanyahu. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Sold their souls to the devil. 33rd degree Freemason. Oh my god. Okay. 
we're gonna end this fucking site right here. I think we've seen. I think I've probably spent the most on this fucking website, but we've seen a lot of conspiracies, seen a lot of Illuminatis. So we're gonna back out of this and go go to something else. But this is the conspiracy heavy, UFO heavy, fucking everything heavy episode of the Deep Web. Let's go. Let's go to something a little, a little, a little. Hopefully, a little more normal. Let's, let's go there. Okay, it's a little too dank. I think. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is OO. Don't even know what the fuck I've stepped into, but of course you can see I've clicked around here and there. But I think I found what appears to be the poem side of the fucking internet. Uh, if you go to the dilation, mm -hmm. apparently you just have two fucking two two lines. You go to the song. It's gonna be cold. There may even be an OO. Now, apparently what I've understood is that the OO is actually used, like, in every fucking thing imaginable. Like, you go to the census. I got two. All right. Well, maybe the OO wasn't there. All right. But you go to the pain. Ow, 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 It's just literally O's. Like, an O is always there. How many licks does it take to the bottom of the Tootsie Pop? Answer is two. It's just like fucking the asphyxiation. I can't breathe. The promise. This won't hurt a bit. That's a little weird kind of a fucking promise there, but okay. The problem. How can you get the OO in a bottle whose neck is smaller than one O? I don't know, but it has something to do with two. So as you can tell, it's a site that essentially deals with OOs, and it's probably the most lighthearted fucking site we've seen, because honestly, it's just... It's kind of interesting reading this. Like, if you go to the secret agent, double... <laughs> Fuck my... <laughs> the oh, fuck dude that was a little unexpected you go to the terrorist uzi all right all right not the what the script why why you go to the rage like and it's probably it's probably fucking oh it's like all the fucking elite speak level fucking swearing-esque shit and you go to like the fucking the concern should my o look like that double o and it's just, it's just double o's you go to the fucking time oh Fuck my life. It's in, like, the time... What in the fuck, dude? Come the fuck on now, all right? You go to the Flintstones. Yabba dabba oh oh. Fucking... Fucking why? Burns like the sun. You go to the heat. The profanity. Shoot! All right? It didn't say shit. It said shoot. It's like the fucking... It's like, it's like trying to control yourself. You go to the new ones, like the divorce. Oh, oh. They're not together anymore, as you can tell. So it's... What the fuck, dude? The menu, all you can eat. You know what I mean? Like... I don't even know what the fuck to say. It's serving you and yours since 1995. This is probably fucking like re-upload, re-mirroring or something. But <laughs> honest to God, like you read some of this shit, like the monster. O is for the cookie monster. Fuck my life. Actual, I don't even know what to think, man. Like, it's fucking, <laughs> like what the fuck, dude? Like, honestly, like this is, this is a kind of site that like you come across and it's like, it like takes you by surprise because it's not malicious. It's not bad. It's just it's just goofy and funny, and that's like the best stuff you can find, dude. The claim, the O, oh, they are large and unruly. Please disengage. What's the location? In your mouth and nose, making you choke and cry. What the fuck? The dictator is O. Oh, so it's just just one motherfucker. That's it. Not two. One. You go to the fireworks. Let me see. Is this gonna be? It's ASCII art. I fucking knew it was gonna be ASCII art. Okay. God damn. I knew it. I knew it. What the hell's out there, dude? There's some weird ass noises. You go to the the critic. It has strong technique, but it lacks oh oh. <laughs> what the fuck? The censor. What do you mean? I can't say oh oh, and the oh oh is obviously censored. So it's just it's just word jokes, really. And honestly, like you could just like what is the joke? Oh oh walks into a bar. Everyone in the bar closed their mouths. Like it's just it's just something to like sit back. Like you could honestly sit back here, read through all these, and. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you, you could just read all these and it, it'd be fun. You know what I mean? Like, it it would honestly be some really fun shit. What is the dodo? Foo. All right. Okay. Some of them don't make really any fucking kind of sense, I guess. What is the ghost? Boo. <laughs> Fuck my life, dude. <laughs> I feel like a fucking idiot right now. You go to the, the mistake. The Eggman. Oh, my God. Goo 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 Okay, it's, uh, it's a little weird. What is the end? <laughs> the end is interesting. The O gets smaller until it becomes a fucking period. So it's all just fucking word jokes, man. Like, there's not much you can really say about O-O oh, oh, other than what the fuck, right? You go to the Doppler effect. Oh, 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 I'm seeing stars everywhere because that sneeze. <laughs> it is the fucking Doppler effect. It gets louder as it gets closer and then it, oh my god. What in the fuck am I reading right now? The clone? Oh, oh, that's not really a clone, because the clone would actually have to be the exact same, so you fucked up there, but good try. Good, good, good try. Good, good shit. 
you go to the the pleading the expense oh my god dollar see like some of these like they're so literal but then the other ones are trying to be all edgy and shit so you really don't know what to do but you can actually go down here submit your own oo and it takes you to an email which because of the site since it was in 1995 i don't think it's active anymore uh but yeah you can probably get to the clear web version they have oo at alcion.com which uh yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I guess that's how you get to it. But you can actually I don't know if the site's active, but you can you can actually email your OO into it. And I guess if it's good enough, it gets posted over here, which hey man, that's pretty fucking sweet. It's like you you're basically a fucking meme. The quotes. Oh my fucking god. They just they just take OOs and like it's so fucking literal. I love it. But yeah, I'm I'm glad we found this site. Uh, there's not much I can really show you guys. I, I feel like if you really want to understand, just go into I want to see the glasses. I really do. What's the glass? Fucking it's it's fucking ASCII art. But I guess if you want to check more, what is the matrix? There is no, oh, okay. All right. All right. We're done. We're done. Fucking we're done. All right. But this is the OO. Um, if you want to check into it, go to the site. Look at, maybe even submit your own. If you get in, let us know. Fucking tell us, tell us if you got into the OOs. But uh, we're going to back out of the OO. All right. We're going to, we're going to. We're gonna fucking go to something else. You know what I mean? Just back out. See, see what, see what, see what else the internet, internet has. And everyone, that is the episode of the deep web for the week. This fine Sunday, we've seen some conspiracies, some alamals, fucking a site that that's all about minerals, running file sharing websites, all de leading me down a fucking hive of surveys and random shit. But I'm gonna end this video over here. We've seen quite a different amount of stuff, of kind of kind of stuff that uh, we we sort of expect, but at the same time, things that are all brand new to us. A series of videos that just raised more questions than answers. It's been a really inter interesting episode of the Deep Web, and that's just what I love when we come across some interesting stuff that, hell, can raise a few questions because it just leads to a more interesting discussion. Let me know what you think about this episode in the comment section below, as always. Uh, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar. I hope you enjoy this Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. I am out. Mm -hmm.